We've had an awesome trip to Charleston and we got up bright and early today on Sunday so we can keep this train moving <laughs> and get to our next destination, which is Greenville, South Carolina. We're gonna stay there for two days and then we'll be in Asheville, North Carolina for a night and then we'll make our way to Pigeon Forge. And then lastly, Nashville. It's kind of a bummer because it's gonna be raining tomorrow. So we're gonna try and get there a little bit early today, get set up and then head downtown to do some exploring. We've been through there before one time that was really, really fun and we really enjoyed it. So we're really excited to get over there. So we're gonna get the truck started. We're already hooked up. We're gonna rock and roll. Hey y'all, we are Sean and Christina and this is our therapy dog, Nash. We left our home in Nashville, Tennessee to travel the US in an RV and shine a bright spotlight on the incredible work that therapy dogs do across our country. I still think one of the coolest things we can do is pull over and open our house up <laughs> and get lunch. It's, it's so cool. After living full time in an RV for a while now, I, I don't like hotels anymore. I used to really like them and now it's so much more convenient just to have your RV with you or your house in our case. There he is. Nash, welcome back to your house on the road. of having your house with you is you can pull over to go to the bathroom wherever you need to. Potty break. On the side of an exit. <laughs> Y'all, this RV park is so cool. We pulled in, we just got set up. I just got showered and changed and Christina's in the shower and getting changed right now. And as you can see, little Nash has crashed out already. But from the moment we pulled in here, we're just outside of Greenville in a little town called Traveler's Rest. And we pulled in and immediately just felt so much peace being up in the mountains and in the woods. And it's just so, so amazing. And we're gonna go downtown Greenville and do a little bit of exploring and it's starting to drizzle a little bit. I don't think it's supposed to rain, so hopefully it holds off. We've had enough rain <laughs> the last uh, few days and weeks that we've been on the road. Our site is right on this little creek and it's just flowing and you can hear the water and there's some uh, trees down in there so the water's kind of bubbling over it and it just sounds so cool. It's just such a good change of pace for what we've had with more traditional RV parks or RV resorts. This is more of a, a state park feel, but it's actually a KOA. So it's still really, really nice. And we've got a very nice patio and the check-in process was smooth and easy and you can use the app to book. And it was just all around awesome. And we pulled in and we were just so excited. Nash, where are we, bud? Say Greenville. We just made it to Greenville. It's crazy. We've been here so many times, never with Nash. First time. First time as a family. Doesn't really matter what we do.
Say hi to the dude holding the envelope and a pen. Who are you, sir? Nash, who is that? Nashi, does he have a gift for you? He does not care. Does he have a gift for you? He knows a golden though when he sees them. Nash, look across the street, buddy. You see the little golden over there, Nash? You're gonna meet him in passing. Oh my gosh, you. so sweet. Hi Nash, this is Maylee. Maylee. Thank you. Come on, man, let's go. Say bye bye. Happy good night. <laughs> Back coming in pretty handy. Oh my gosh, it's like Nash's diaper bag. Just, you know, Nash's bag of treats. So fitting, considering. I'm very excited because we wanted to do a wood fire in the six months that we've been RVing full time, and we haven't been able to. <laughs> and we're finally able to today. This is the good life. Oh, 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 oh. This is the good life. keep the pace up and we're headed to Asheville just outside of Asheville actually and we'll only be there for a night and then we're headed to the ridge which we're really excited for so in Sevierville fun. Tennessee which is kind of close to Pigeon Forge and we've heard amazing things about this resort and we can't wait to go see it Look at oh, Are you cold? Oh, 
Oh. Look at him. <laughs> it's Nash, okay, are you scared? Nash. Huh? He's Did you mean nice. a pig today? It's okay. He's nice. What's his name? Otto? Otto. Otto, what's up, buddy? Nash, it's okay. <laughs> oh, are you just gonna smell behind him? Oh. Is that a piggy? He has a litter box. Don't bark. Really? Goes right in the litter box. Huh. Wow. I've heard pigs are really smart. They feed them twice a day. Okay. Not that much. They okay. They don't feed them that much. They give them a, bada a banana at um, bedtime, a snack. Aww. I love his like cheeks. Did you see his like. He's so Watch when he cute. like moves his head down. His cheeks get all fat. Look at that. They had him at a, a Cabela's. Yeah. Nash, did you meet Look a pig? Look at his little tail, Nash. <laughs> he still doesn't know what to do. Good boy, Nash. Hey, watch out for the cameraman, man. It's like he's not like a normal dog like I've seen. Good boy, Nash, man. You don't have to be scared. He's like, I don't know what this smell is. What does this smell? Rhonda. You don't smell like a dog. Oh, no. Please, I to have another fire 
which is really exciting and it's not raining this time. The best, Even yes. though we got here and it was raining the day we got here. But we had two days, we're at the Ridge. This property is absolutely beautiful. We're so bummed we can't stay longer. But we have to get to Nashville. We've got a lot of fun things planned there. Not event-wise, we're not doing it as an official tour stop, but we're just taking some time to see some friends and do some catch-up stuff that we need to at home. Home. Okay. This is our home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just have to catch up and kind of do use it as a reset. It's been a really fast-paced couple days. We've had a lot of fun traveling this fast. It's the first time we've done this fast of stops, of overnights, and then mm -hmm. the length of travel for the amount of miles that we've traveled. And overall, it's just been actually really fun. I didn't know yeah. how it was gonna go, but. Yeah, I don't think that we could travel this quickly as often, but we really have liked how much ground we've covered, how quickly. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of seeing, like you could actually go coast to coast and I don't know how long it would take, but you could probably do it in a couple weeks. If you're really hustling, like, you know, probably four, 300 miles a day. Boy, you math, crazy. I'm not saying we're going to. <laughs> I'm just saying like, it's th 300 miles a day is reasonably what you can do. So I don't know what it is coast to coast, 3,000 miles, maybe a little bit more. Like I don't know. If, if you've done that, I would be very curious here. Yeah, if you've done that, let us know. <laughs> we want to hear about that. That'd be kind of cool. We're not going to do it, but I'd like to know that somebody's done it. So we're, we're already packed up tonight, actually. We're hooked up to the truck and we're ready to go because we have to leave pretty early. We don't want to wake up everyone that's next to us with a bunch of noises of us packing up. So we're going to pull out of here pretty early and make our way back to Nashville.